Since you're aware of what the pyramids and stuff do in their effects, what about the color changes and stuff? Well, that's where... Well, if you're looking at the bonus here for any... If it's any indication, you should probably get the idea. Busting pyramids is a great way to get bonuses. These bonuses. Of course, it all just depends on what kind of pyramid you get, of course, too. But this is level one. The easiest kind of setup. There's really no challenge here to it whatsoever. However, to do to set up a color chain, all you gotta do is, well, for level one, well, just the basics anyway, notice how there's always essentially the same order of pyramids, with rare exceptions. Like, this goes out to yellow, right? Okay, see the same pattern, and then there's a yellow, and then there's this odd pink color? Well, put every single pyramid, except the null, on yellow. Of course, you might consider getting rid of the unwanted enemies, and you might be noticing that they went down some levels, and he went down a lot. Well, that's because they reached floor 100, and now I'm trying to get another Super Robo suit. And just hit transmigrate and went from there. And with the f frequent boosts on HP and stuff, well, yeah, it looked kind of relatively very low level, and my goodness, his stats are so high. Specialists. It's all that it really matters. his life bar down just a little bit each time he hits that level up. All the enemies otherwise gone, except for these machines that move so slowly. Yeah, the three is misleading. Remember that bug I told you about? See, it can only move at two. This would be three right here. That's because those falcon shoes are not affecting its movement due to a bug. But, get every pyramid except the null on the otherwise non-present color. This is on its correct color, but this is not on the correct color. So, and helping a lot, in case you don't have the ability to just go straight across and such, is learn how to make diagonal throws. If you look closely at that blue panel right in the middle, you can actually see that, see that square outline with the middle part of the edge cut out? If you look on the blue panel real closely, you can see it appearing there. You can see it on that pink one, too. It's just a matter of timing. See, just like that. That's how you do a diagonal throw. It really helps with setting up color chains, if you need them. Um, if you can't find all the pyramids, all I gotta do is just check this. Of course, do not get too close to the enemies. But what if you have to get close to an enemy? Choose somebody that's got a really high defense, or at least is able to handle many of these enemies, and is unable to counter. That would really help. And since I need to kind of restore his HP... Do 76k. Now it's just a matter of busting the pyramids. 
one of the now. However, there is something that's important to note. So, which pyramid do you bust? Well, that actually depends. First, you could think about busting this, since it's like right there, real close. But, it's gonna bust that, it spirals outward in, in, in a clockwise fashion, although I haven't figured out what the very first one is. However, notice the color that the null is on. Okay, now, find the pyramid of the color that matches the color that the null is on. Okay, the null is on blue, right? Go find the blue pyramid and bust it. It makes no difference how you go about busting it. But whatever you do, try the best you can to keep off of these geo panels as much as possible. Why? Well, I'll show you. Okay, I'll bust that one. And enjoy the light show. That is, right there you just saw two of the primary ways to busting pyramids. Notice how that one, the null just got busted second? This is why it's level one, it's because it's so easy to do. It's such an easy setup to do. Of course, most of the time you get like level 2, and sometimes even level 3 type setups. I'll get to those later. But if you watch the enemy closely, notice how it, when, when the pyramids are busted, or on matching colors they all got busted, you know, how they took damage. Same thing happens to the enemy, just like that. If you want to know the formula for calculating the damage that pyram busted pyramids do, it's actually pretty easy. Take the pyramid's level, double it, and add three. Hmm. Then you multiply that result by the color combo number, that five there. You're all clear, which is what I'm just about to get. Because otherwise the same thing. 16, 9, 15. It's a great way to weaken enemies, but keep in mind the healers will just go out and go crazy. Oh boy. But notice how that bonus gauge is just filling up like crazy. It actually only takes like, uh, I think it's 8, 89 or something for the size. But notice how the enemy took damage and my own characters here didn't take any. That's why it's important to not be on a geo panel. And if you can master this, you're otherwise good to go for level 2. That's the basic setup. Uh, you forgot to counter. 